Mr. Smith. I don't mean to embarrass you, obviously, but since I am here on official business... Oh. <laughs> what can we do for you? Yes, it's official business. <laughs> well, um, I, I, I really don't mean to embarrass you in front of... Oh, you can say anything you Oh, like. they tell us everything. We're the best of friends. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> well, then, um, have you any fires here? Oh, why do you ask us that? <laughs> well, you see, I have orders to extinguish all the fires in the city. All? Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Have you got me? <laughs> oh, well. I don't know. I don't think so. Should I check? Yes. I think you should. And you. And you. And you. Yes, um. Let's have a little look-see for fires, shall we? <laughs> and the only way we have a look-see for fires is to sniff. So sniff, everybody. Mr. Martin, Mrs. Martin, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, sniff! Yes, sniff way up high in the cellar and way down low in the attic. I want a fire! Sniff under the floorboards, sniff in the cupboard, sniff in the drawers. Sniff your clothes, closet, sniff, sniff! Fire chief's only good if he has a fire to put out, and I have orders, official orders, to extinguish all the fires in the city. So find one, please. There can't be one, dear. There's oh. no the smell of anything. Oh. I am terribly sorry. If I do have anything in the near future, I promise to notify you. Well, thank you, Mrs. Smith. That would be most appreciated. It's a promise! Um, have you got any fires around your place? No. Unfortunately. Things aren't going so well. Just now. No. There's been very little, just trifles, really. Little chimney fire here, little fire in the loins there, nothing much. And when profit is low, output is meager. It's the same with business as it is with agriculture. Nothing is possible. No wheat, no fires. No floods, either. There is some sugar. That's because it's important. It's harder in the case of fires. The tariffs are too high. Yeah. All the same, there is the occasional uh, asphyxiation by gas. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, uh, just last week, a young woman asphyxiated herself. She had left the gas on. Had she forgotten it? No. But she thought it was her own. These confusions are always dangerous. do that. He's insured against fires. <laughs> you should try the Vicar of Wakefield. Use my name. I'm afraid I can't do that either, sir. I'm not allowed to extinguish clergymen's fires. The bishop would get angry. Besides, they extinguish all their fires themselves. Or else they have them put out by their vestal virgin. Go see the Durans. 
I'm afraid I can't do that either, sir. He is not an Englishman. He has only been naturalized. And naturalized citizens have the right to have fires, but do not have the right to have them put out. <laughs> Nevertheless, I seem to recall that last year when they set fire to it, it was put out. Yes, but that's because he did that himself clandestinely. And it is not I who would report him. Neither would I. Well, since you have nowhere to be, why don't you spend some time with us? You'd be doing us a favor. <laughs> Shall I tell you some stories? <laughs> That is, a fireman only speaks from experience. The truth, nothing but the truth. No fiction. One never finds the truth in books, only in life. <laughs> Begin. Begin. Oh, be quiet, he's beginning. <laughs> Excuse me, but please do not look at me that way. You embarrass me. And besides, you know that I am shy. Oh, the pretty boy! <laughs> Chin up! 